Okay, so I have posted the blog post and I'm basically going to go over it very briefly. Uh, I find this uh, the easier way to do to do the trip report. Uh, as I mentioned, my focus is on the talks that I think um, CPPCon, to my to my view, um, is getting better and better each year. Um, I really think that uh, the talks are really uh, clear and, and they talk about the new features and it's really a source of information. And I really recommend you to go over it and check it out, all the talks in the YouTube channel. So I just posted it like just before the, before the meeting. And I'm going to go briefly over a few of the talks that I found most interesting and I recommend you to go and check out. Uh, the YouTube channel is the talks are being uh, published uh, incrementally, so not of the, all of them are in the YouTube channel yet, but uh, I hope they'll be in the near future. So there are uh, interesting talks about software development, uh, Zen and Art of Code Lifecycle Maintenance by Phil Nash, and Designing for Long Term in Invariance, Knobs, Extensions, and Hiram Law by uh, Titus Winters. And both of them are very interesting. Titus is focusing on ABI and uh, API, sorry, uh, and, and uh, design of interfaces. And as you, most of you probably know, he's leading the uh, library uh, in Google, the library development in Google. So I think he has a lot to say about that. And the first talk is uh, uh, Phil Nash presenting uh, career principles correctness, applicability, readability, efficiency, availability, and readability. And this is really interesting. Uh, I really recommend you to go and watch those talks. They're really um, trying to look at code and, and software development with a broad perspective. So custom use for the rest of us is a great talk that presents uh, ranges in, in, in depth. So you, you, you get to know all the deep uh, different uh, terms and, and uh, technicalities of ranges library, but it also tries to show how to create your own uh, views. Uh, I think it's very interesting, uh, custom views. And deducting this, as I mentioned before, is a new feature for C++23, already voted for. Uh, and I think it will be great uh, tool for your toolbox. So uh, this talk is by Ben Dean, which is one of the authors of the original paper. Uh, what we can learn from being too cute. This is a, a very fun talk by Daisy Holman. And I really recommend you to go uh, watch this talk. This talk is basically summarizing some of the posts. Uh, Daisy is uh, giving uh, uh, publishing posts of cool CPP tricks. And this talk is summarizing some of them. And I guarantee you, you're going to learn something from this because this is really advanced uh, template mental programming C++. Uh, finding bugs uh, using pest sensitive st static analysis. I also I, uh, I uh, divide, divided the talks to topics, and this is for gain new skills. Um, so I don't know how much uh, most of you are going into that uh, type of, of debugging analysis, but I think it's really interesting as well uh, to see some of that from, from the compiler and, and the tool, tool side. So it's also something that I guarantee that probably going to teach something new. So fresh perspective on uh, existing topics. Uh, we have here a talk on POD and safety and also represent uh, trivially relocatable uh, concept, which is also something that is relatively new or we've been published in 2018. Uh, there is a talk by Walter Brown going over ordering of types and min max uh, algorithms. Seems like something that should be very simple, but also very interesting perspective. Walter is also giving great historical uh, perspectives. So I really recommend that as well. Um, this one, this talk is uh, David Stone presenting a, a high performance vector that's probably not gonna go into the standard library um, for different reasons, or at least not in this form but still very interesting um, uh, case study for how to design a container um, and, and what the different aspects that we take under consideration when we wanna design uh, a new container. For example, of course, different uh, domains have different considerations. And this 
uh, I, I don't know how to emphasize enough, but Sean Parent with one of his best talks, to my opinion, uh, talking about assumptions the developers are doing about their code. Uh, so basically, we need to be able to get um, something that is that is uh, that is abstract, uh, abstract concepts of software into our code. And, and that's not simple. And on the way, we, we might trip on some, um, uh, some things that, that create uh, bad software. So I think this talk is really uh, a must see for everyone that is interested in this uh, um, writing in clear and good code. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just go very briefly because I don't have a lot of time. Three, again, must see talks. Anyone that is interested in execution, which is, the, as I mentioned, the library part for uh, asynchrony execution uh, that still not in the language, but hopefully will be in the near future. Uh, so one, uh, two, uh, one and two parts of the talk by Eric Nibler and another talk by Bryce that tries to give a more uh, extensive understanding of uh, parallelism in the standard library in general even in containers, not just in, in execution um, feature. So I really think that those three talks really uh, great and uh, give you great understanding of, of execution and again, must see. And if you wanna know what's the latest features that are in the standard library uh, for CyclePass 23, you are, th this talk will be great for you because really Jeff uh, Gerland, which is the, uh, He's uh, the co-chair of library. Uh, library Revolution is doing the design, library is doing the wording. So he's the one that sees all the papers before they go into the language and he's giving a great overview of what's going on in C23. So I recommend this talk. And uh, we've reached the end. Uh, so uh, of course, a talk by Bjarne on type and resource safety in modern C++. He also have a paper with the same name and I think this stock is great because it's, it doesn't show new features, but it definitely show uh, overview of perspectives and, and ownership in our program, which is, uh, to my opinion, something that's going to be changed as well in future C++ and going to get a lot of attention in the future. So I really uh, recommend this talk. I think it's uh, also uh, one of the best talks that I've seen by Bjarne. So, yep. And if anyone is interested in behind the scene uh, view of how the committee works or things that are related to uh, the design of the language, you're most welcome to also watch the committee fireside chat. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much, everyone.